Hey guys, so I'm not exactly sure what this video is going to be named yet. I'm stuck between API Wars and Choose Your Character API Edition. But after reading your comments, it seems like a lot of you wanted a better idea about how you can build out an API and what technology you can use for that. So today I'm going to be building out and comparing a Django REST API, a Golang REST API, and a Wayscript REST API, and analyzing each one side by side to figure out which one is best for your site. So in order to do this, I'm going to test the three APIs on four main categories, ease of development, throughput, latency, and then compatibility with other features. So this is going to be a really awesome video. I'm really excited about it. Let's get to it. So the first thing I did was code these up, and the easy winner for ease of development is Wayscript. They make it super easy to set up an API from start to finish. If you look at my workflow, it's only four simple steps. I just have an HTTP trigger. Uh, I connect to my SQL database. I use Python to form that SQL into a JSON response. And then I have an HTTP response. And then the Python code I wrote was literally two lines. So Wayscript makes it super easy to set up an API. If you have questions about how I did this or want to see a tutorial on me doing this, just drop this video a like or put something in the comments below. In second place, I'd give put Golang. Uh, Golang is actually also fairly easy to make an API. My code was only around 80 lines, but you'd need a lot more knowledge about ports and servers. In my code, I just had a handle request function, and then based off the request in the URL, I'd route to different functions to display different information on the page. So this wasn't that bad, but you definitely need more knowledge on the Golang language, which is a little more difficult. Uh, networking, and ports. And then in last place, I put Django. Uh, Django is a really good web framework, but you need knowledge of this web framework in order to build out an API fairly quickly. And this is mostly because Django has a lot of rules. So the way that you'd want to go about doing this, and I can make a tutorial on this as well, is that you want, would want to create a project. And then because Django is an app-based framework, Inside that project, you'd want to make an API app. And then in your back in your main project, you'd want to update a urls.py file to point to the views.py of your API. Cool, so the first round goes to Wayscript, but next I'm going to show you guys how to use Apache JMeter so that you can load test your APIs as well. So in trying to make sure that I load tested all the APIs fairly, I did a server lookup on the location of my Wayscript API server because Wayscript is a managed service and saw that the Wayscript server is located in US East 1, which is a hosted zone from AWS in Ashburn, which is actually not too far from my house. So consequently, I put the servers for uh, my SQL instance, my Golang API, and my Django API all in US East 1 as well, so they'd all be working from the same location. Apache JMeter is a really powerful tool to be able to test metrics like latency and throughput on my website. So there's four main things you need to understand to be a pro using Apache JMeter, and those four things are thread groups, samplers, listeners, and configuration. So once you create a new project, you'll have this test plan. You can name it, and you'll right click and say add a thread and then thread group. I already have one set up, but you can set the number of threads, the ramp up period, and the loop count. So for this thread group, I'm going to be sending 100 requests to my website. So after this, I want to add a sampler so I can sample either an HTTP request, which is what I'm using in this case to call an API, or I can test a database or something different. So I have my HTTP request set up, and this is basically my decompose URL. So if I take this, because it's HTTPS, it has these query parameters. I'll load the server name here, the path here, my query parameters here, and the port as default 443 because it's HTTPS. So after this, I need some way to listen to my HTTP requests and also make sure they're correct. So I'm going to add a response assertion to ensure that it's always equal to this response on the page to make sure I don't get a 404 or a, some bad response that I don't want. And then because I need to view my data, I can put on a listener that will allow me to either view my data graphically in a table or in a tree. So right now I have view results in table, view results in tree, and view results in graph. So I can show you guys what this looks like in a graph. So after recording and analyzing the JMeter test, I even made a couple graphs to help analyze the results. 
Golang came in as the clear winner for throughput and latency. It had a latency of under 20 milliseconds per call, which is insanely fast, and a throughput between 1,000 and 5,000 requests per minute. Django came in second with a latency of between 70 and 80 milliseconds a call and a throughput of just over 1,000 requests per minute. And Wayscript came in last for this one with a latency of approximately 2,000 milliseconds per call, which is around two seconds, and a throughput of 250 requests per minute. So I've always known that Golang is a lot faster than Python, which is being used in these Django and Wayscript APIs. I've heard the comparison that if Python compiles like a grandma, that Golang compiles like a bat out of hell. But what you're really getting with these Python APIs is simplicity, stability, and speed of development. So it's really not a qualifier, or a disqualifier rather, that Django and Wayscript didn't perform as well on this throughput and latency because two seconds isn't really that long, especially for an API call. But it just should be noted that Golang killed it on these tests. So lastly, I want to discuss each one of these APIs compatibility with other features. So first I'd say that the one that has the most compatibility with outside features is Wayscript. The Wayscript platform makes it really easy to plug in other features. So if you're building an entire project around this API, Wayscript has a lot of modules that you can just drag and drop in, which makes it really quick to integrate other features. Django also is a really well-known web framework, so it has a lot of modules built on top of it. So I'd give that second place for features. And then third place, Golang. Golang's relatively new, and it does have a lot of features and drivers built in, but those are still being developed for Golang. So I'd give them third place for features and compatibility with features. So in conclusion, when picking the technology that you're gonna use for your API or your project, you should weigh each one of these categories importance to you. So if you want a really quick and easy development experience and need features to be easily integrated into your application, definitely go with Wayscript. If you care a lot about speed, then you should go with Golang because it has awesome performance. And if you prioritize just having a all Python application, you should go with Django. Each one of these frameworks and tools have their own pros and cons and can be used beneficially for their own reasons. So definitely think about what you want to use and what you prioritize and then make that decision. You can't really go wrong here. So if you like this video or have any questions, just leave a comment in the comments down below. If you'd like to see my implementation of each one of these APIs, I could do a tutorial video. Just also put a comment down below for that. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any other questions, just put a comment down below or send me a message on Patreon. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.